Is anybody still with this dude? Like, I'm reading it, and I'm lost. First freaking paragraph, and I'm already lost. I, I don't know about you. Streets and houses? What is this, a real estate guide? How long is this thing, anyway? Jesus! You're going to be flipping the CD on this one, gang. What this needs is like a 50-foot man-eating worm, you know? To pick it up? That's Stephen King. He's the ace of the 50-foot man-eating worms, man. They're always like popping up in his stories, so people hang in there, you know? But not this dude. He's into streets and houses. Good luck, Jim. Okay, anyway, let's see. The former tenant of our house, a priest... A priest? They had a priest living with them? Holy shit! Picture that! No, thank you! Man, that's why they got churches. So those priests and like the nuns, they got some place to live. You don't want them living with your everyday people. They live by themselves. They don't mess around. And they like drink themselves cockeyed on that brandy. This priest, wait a minute, you won't believe this. He, he like died in the back room. Oh my god. That's right, check it out. This priest died in their house. Can you beat that? Call 911. Yeah, hello? Okay, we got a dead priest over here. Oh, wow. This is terminally weird, like, like an exorcist thing going, I guess. Okay. Air, musty from having been long enclosed, hung in all the rooms, and the waste room behind the kitchen was littered with old, useless papers. So what? Now he's like doing a garbage inventory of the house. We got a dead priest and he's worried about some papers? Or, or like his mother is going to tell him to clean up his room. You pick up all those papers, Jimmy, and don't you dare forget about that priest either. I don't know how many times I've told you to get rid of that dead priest. I'll tell you, I'm lost. What this story needs is about 15 guys with like Uzis, okay? A hot car, a few babes, blow something up. Hey, I mean, like it doesn't take a genius, right? Okay, wait up. They tell me that there's a babe coming. Somebody's sister. Okay, we'll see. Among these, I found a few paper-covered books, the pages of which were curled and damp. The Abbot by Walter Scott, never heard of him. The Devout Communicant and the memoirs of... V v Who is this guy? You wouldn't believe this. It's spelled V-I-D-O-C-Q. Vidoc? Viduck? Vidork? What, what kind of a name is Vidork? God, this story is weird. Like, like, summarized. Okay, absolutely nothing has happened so far, except this priest named Vidork died in their house and left behind some papers and his memoirs. And Jimmy, the nerdy dude with the patch on his eye, he, he like found these old books. Hang on to your hats, right? I like the last one best because its leaves were yellow. Huh? What's so great about yellow pages? A book that old would stink, unless it was the phone book. That must be it. Jeez. Jimmy's reading the phone book. Get a life. Where were we? As if it matters. The wild garden behind the house contained a central apple tree and a few staggering bushes. Staggering bushes? This guy is on something. Jimmy is fried on that brandy. How did he get out in the garden anyway? What's he doing? Burying the priest? Like we got some kind of wacko who lives with priests, kills them, and buries them out back? That might work. Or, or, or he, he eats them, maybe, like that animal lector guy. Jimmy, maybe there's hope for you yet, dude. Let's see. The staggering bushes, under which, one of which, I found the late tenant's rusty bicycle pump. Who cares? The, the guy rode a bicycle, a, a priest on a bike. Now he's dead. I don't get it. 
This sucks. He had been a very charitable priest. In his will, he had left all his money to institutions and the furniture of his house to his sister. Wait, what house? I thought he lived in this guy's house. What house are they talking about? And why do we care? Who can follow this? I can't. All right, all right, where are we? We, we got a lot to get through here. Okay. Uh, when the short days of winter came, dark fell before we had well eaten our dinners. Well eaten? What's the well eaten? He means they ate. What's well eaten? Good manners? It, it got dark before they were done eating. Jesus, don't we lead exciting lives? Night falls, it gets dark, they're eating dinner, they're doing it well. It's the freaking high point of the day. Great story we got here. Bring on the worms. Where are the oozies? The babes? We need babes. Jimmy needs babes. We have definitely got to get old Jimbo laid. 